Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to just talk about uh, the Google has just sold the Motorola mobility division to Lenovo and I just wanted to talk about it. Yes, I don't do stuff like this like vlogs etc. But I just read about the story, I just got up, I read about it and I had a few things in my mind. So I just wanted to talk about it because I am very passionate about the smartphone industry and how it works. And I think so this is a big change because uh, Google last year purchased this uh, Motorola division for about 13 billion dollars and at that time if you recall there were a lot of patent issues so uh, everybody thought that they bought this Motorola uh, division for about what 13 billion dollars uh, and they got a lot of patents now they have sold this uh, Motorola mobility divisions uh, I'm a little bit uh, saddened to see because we have seen a lot of great phones under the Google we saw the Moto X we saw this Moto G and uh, we all hope that uh, Google would keep uh, this and produce high quality phones at a very affordable price. For example, the Moto G was a stellar example. And just <clears throat> about three weeks ago, uh, there was a statement by Motorola, they were working on even a, a lower cost phone like a $50 phone. So everybody was excited. But now Google has sold this uh, uh, mobile division to Lenovo for $3 billion. So, uh, Right away you'll say that uh, yes, uh, there's a gap of 10 billion dollars, but Google has kept most of the important patents. So again, uh, Lenovo is not a small brand and PCs, for example, uh, something like this happened a uh, couple of years ago. IBM actually sold their hardware division to Lenovo and Lenovo was doing decent in uh, PCs uh, hardware. They do a decent job. So I hope that uh, now that this Motorola uh, division is now under Lenovo, they might do a decent job but again i'm keeping my fingers crossed <clears throat> my second angle to this is that now google uh, if you recall a lot of other oems bigger oems like let's say um, samsung particularly i'll come back to samsung a bit later lg sony were not that happy because google uh, was primarily a software company that was producing android and uh, when they acquired Motorola and they have seen the success of this Moto G and Moto X, I think so these guys felt threatened. And I think so on Google's part, selling this uh, is a big indicator that no, we don't want to compete directly in hardware, but Google wants to position itself as a software. So I get that. <clears throat> uh, and another thing that I feel is now Google wants to get out of this uh, hardware market because again, if you recall, just I'm just going back, deviating a bit. Uh, uh, I would say Google Android operating system is something like Windows now, what Windows was in 19, uh, mid 90s or something, it was selling like hotcakes, the most popular uh, desktop OS. And uh, if you've seen the smartphone uh, race now, Android is one of the most popular, what do you say, uh, software. Google does not make money by selling Android, but it does make money uh, elsewhere by, uh, for example, when you use Google searches, etc. and there are other services. So. So that makes sense and that brings me to one more important point. <coughs> Google people, are, uh, the people at Google are very smart. They don't want to think about right now, but I think so they are looking into future. And as a reviewer, I have seen this. Uh, for example, let's uh, talk about how the smartphones are evolving. Now I would say in currently uh, by the end of 2013 and early 2014, the phones that I'm seeing, even the mid-range phones, are actually pretty good compared to uh, I would say uh, the mid-range phones that we are getting uh, these days for example the Moto uh, G and even the Grand 2 etc are as good as some of the high-end phones that were for uh, available for about one and a half to two years ago and I think so this will accelerate and in 2015 uh, this is going to be something like a PC industry uh, the even the entry-level phones will be so good that uh, <clears throat> we won't see a lot more innovation in this front. For example, if you recall in the PCs, uh, I don't know, I'm a very enthusiastic person and I used to in the early 2000s and till late, till about four, four years ago, I used to upgrade my PC every year because we used to get huge improvements every year. But lately, in the last couple of years, things have, uh, what do you uh, say, I would say settled down. Yes, we are seeing new processors and everything. But the uh, performance increase that we are seeing with every new generation is hardly tangible. Even a low cost PC, for example, let's say you get for about, what say, uh, about $500, $600, about $35,000, $40,000 is so good compared to a PC that you can buy for one lakh. 
the amount of uh, performance gain that you get is hardly tangible and i think so that is going to happen even with the smartphones they are getting good enough and by 2015 even a mid range android phone will be good enough for most of the people and i think so google is seeing that hence they don't want to be in this hardware business and uh, if you recall google recently did a lot of purchases and they are trying to catch up with the next wave of technology that might work or not might work for example wearable google we have google glasses recently they have purchased uh, stuff like uh, nest uh, so they are trying to get into home automation or uh, uh, stuff like that that is the next wave so that uh, brings me to the point that yes <clears throat> so the future i would say again it depends on leno leno if they are going to get aggressive uh, and continue to produce phones like moto g Uh, that provide great value so only uh, it will depend upon lenovo uh, how it does another thing that uh, google did a great thing is lenovo phones uh, worldwide uh, they are not very popular but in china which is a very big market lenovo has a big stake and i think so uh, we will we might see a lot more motorola phones being sold in china now that brings me to the point uh, recently just about 3 uh, 4 days ago uh, Google made some uh, patent deals with Samsung. So I think so I don't know I can't speculate on this. So this might be a result of all of this because now uh, and also Google if you recall uh, the Samsung actually uh, about a month ago uh, in CES they showed their new uh, UI that was on the tablet. Uh, actually Google was not that happy with that UI. It was more like what you say surface or uh, flipboard type of interface. and google objected on that and i and i've heard that samsung is working on it to tame it down so it looks like uh, google and samsung are going to work closely to together again uh, and that brings me to uh, uh, the point uh, that is uh, let me just get my thoughts uh, one second guys <clears throat> uh, pe- people have also speculated that uh, the nexus uh, line up of phones that is currently nexus 5 etc Google might see start by 2015. Yes, we are going to see a lot more Nexus devices. Again, they are in pipeline two or three. But after that, uh, so it's a rumor. I hope that does not happen because currently the Nexus lineup of phones and even the tablets offer great hardware at a very good price point. So it looks like Google uh, from all of this, it's looking like Google is not trying to uh, be very aggressive. hardware manufacturer and just want to wants to concentrate on the software front so i am a little bit saddened about this uh, fact because i had great hopes with the, the motorola uh, i loved this moto g the uh, moto x was a great phone so hopefully lenovo moves it forward uh, again guys do let me know what are your thoughts upon it these are just my initial impressions about this deal so i just wanted to get it out uh, to you in raw format Again guys if you like this format do let me know in the comment section thank you uh, this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video